human babies born on Mars, products made in space, and robots that mine asteroids. Is this what the future looks like? Some scientists certainly think so. I'm talking about the Royal Society. This is a scientific academy in the UK. They have made some wacky predictions. They say that by the year 2075, from our bugs to our factories, all kinds of things could thrive in space. How is that? And how believable is it really? Here's a report. Over the past 25 years, space exploration has changed dramatically. We've landed in the outer solar system discovered water on the moon, eaten food drawn in space, and photographed a black hole. Sure, we haven't been visited by little green beings in flying saucers, but the past few years have changed spaceflight tremendously. And the next few decades promise to be action-packed. Predicting the future may be a fool's errand, but some scientists have done it anyway, like those at the Royal Society. This is a scientific academy in the United Kingdom and it has published a report. It looks at the consequences of space science today and the possibilities over the next 50 years. So by the year 2075, they expect a range of strange changes, like factories in space. According to the report, advances in rockets and space planes could make way for space factories. They could make products in microgravity. So, get ready for Made in Space tags on your products. Plus, as the space race heats up, the volume of space debris is increasing. There are more than 130 million space junk pieces floating around, thanks to spent rockets or collisions of defunct satellites. Scientists believe that this problem will soon find a solution. Companies could start recycling the junk, maybe robots could do that along with mining asteroids, which has long been an ambition of researchers. If possible, this would extract minerals from asteroids and minor planets. What's more, there are also predictions of colonization, less so by humans and more by insects. Specifically, extremophile bugs. They can endure harsh environments on Earth, so they could be engineered to survive on Mars and used as living tools to utilize natural resources. Though many humans desperately want to live on the red planet too. Scientists say that patches of Mars could be engineered to be more hospitable to humans. So much so that humans could end up being born there. That said, take all of this with a pinch of salt. After all, predictions about space often end up being just wild guesses. Remember the elevator to space, where you push a button and effortlessly shoot into outer space? Scientists often speculated that this could happen, but it still hasn't. Remember Milkomeda? It was predicted that our galaxy, the Milky Way, would collide with its largest neighbour, the Andromeda, in about 4.5 billion years. This has been anticipated since 1912 and was feared as the end of our galaxy. But now, research suggests that the likelihood of this galactic clash is much smaller than expected earlier. That's the thing about scientific predictions. As science evolves, predictions change. But when it comes to space exploration, you can expect a few things. In the coming decades, the space sector is anticipated to grow beyond $1.8 trillion. The private space boom will continue. And so will the ambition of countries keeping up with the pace of change. They're chasing moon bases, space stations and orbiting factories. We may not be able to have tea with aliens or witness babies being born on Mars, but radical developments can certainly be expected. So, watch the space. First post now available in nine languages on YouTube. English at 36 trillion dollars. French. Le FMI. German. Hindi. Indonesian. Italian. Japanese. Portuguese. Spanish. Beautiful view. Go to settings. Click on audio track and select the language of your choice. Be the first to know what's happening around you in your first language. 
first post.